Saturday events, we kick off with the Health and Fitness Expo, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's the site of packet pickup for all participants, t-shirts, goodie bags, tiny chips. Uh, the Covenant Kids Run will be that night at 6 o'clock. That also finishes at the 50-yard line, uh, just like the adults will Sunday morning. And then we roll into Sunday with the, the marathon, the half marathon starting at 7.30 and the 5K starting at 7.45 a.m. You know, it's we expected to have, every year we've had an increase, and we expected to have another record turnout. But, you know, we've already eclipsed last year's numbers going into race weekend, and we can still take registrations at the Expo. So, you know, 6,200 at this point, you know, is phenomenal. We, we could be pushing close to 7,000 come Saturday. Last year, we finished the entire event with 5,900. So we're, so we're, yeah, we're crushing numbers. Everything right now is just gravy. It's been pretty chaotic. You know, the phone rings constantly. Um, a lot of just, you know, last minute questions from participants. But the this is the week when, you know, the logistics really kick in. Uh, you know, water deliveries, the Powerade deliveries. Uh, we've, we've got pods all over town. We've got people sorting and uh, printing T-shirts and merchandise. It's, there's things going on all over town just to get ready for this one weekend. Oh, I'm, I'm totally excited. You know, it's. I, I always tell people, they ask me how long I'm going to do this, and you know, as far as being in charge. And every year when I get up on the, the start line and look at all the thousands of people that are out there, it's like a sea of folks. It always makes me tear up a little. And every year that I tear up is, you know, I know that I'm going to continue to do it. You know, we started a national marketing campaign this year with some ads and Runner's World, Running Times, uh, magazines we hadn't ever done before, just trying to reach more people across the country. I think social media has something to do with it. You know, as far as the Facebook and the Twitter, we've, we've done ads, we try to do updates on there almost daily. You know, I, I think another part of it is, sure, we get some first-time participants, but we get a lot of folks that come back year in and year out because they think that we do such a good job. You know, Southern hospitality, if you will as far as, you know, hey, I really enjoy the race in Knoxville, I want to go back. So we're getting those repeat people on top of first-timers, and that just kind of snowballs the participants.